and welcome to another virtual craft with the Paul Sawyer Public Library. My name is Diane Dahoney. I'm the Community Service Librarian here at Paul Sawyer. And tonight we're going to be making um, book page hydrangeas. Little hydrangea balls that are made out of discarded book pages that you can use as home or office decor. Let's get started. If you registered for this craft and received a craft kit in advance, what you'll be receiving is a styrofoam ball. Um, you will also be receiving a pencil and you will be getting also some um, little rounds um, that we've cut from discarded book pages. And we've used this little craft cutter, die cutter um, here um, to get the scalloped round shape. Now this is a two inch scalloped round. You see that scalloped edge there. Um, and you can actually pick uh, these types of little cutters up. Um, pretty much any craft store has these. Um, for this project, you will need that scalloped edge though because that's what gives us the really um, hydrangea look to it. Um, so we will have done this for you in advance, but if you wanted to try this part at home, if you didn't get the kit, or if you wanted to do more um, later on, all you'll need is some discarded book pages, um, a book that's maybe gotten in bad shape, an old book that you don't want anymore, and you just take the cover off and take the pages from the inside. You could also use, um, you could use sheet music, you could use magazines, um, any, any type of discarded paper like that. You'll get a different look, obviously, depending on um, what uh, type of material you use. But today we're going to use discarded book pages. So if you were going to be doing um, the, the cutting on these, most of these can do several pages at a time. I don't like to do too many um, because it will get, um, you can get, stuck in there if you try to do too many pages at once. Um, but I'll show you how this works. In case you've never seen one of these, um, you just slide it in just like a stapler and then you'll push down and you'll have the shape there. You can do that with really any type of paper. So these are are the little rounds that we're going to be making our petals or our blooms with for the balls. So set those aside. Okay. So in your kit you will have a big amount, a large pile probably, um, of these, these little rounds. For this size of a styrofoam ball I used, I want to say about 150 to cover a ball this size. So if you were doing um, a larger size, of course you could get a larger styrofoam ball or even a smaller one. Um, so it, it would depend on the size of the styrofoam ball you start with as to how many of these rounds you're going to need. Also your spacing um, will have a lot to do with how many of them that you end up using. Um, if you put them closer together, obviously it's going to take more. If you spread them out, it will take less. You, since the ball is, uh, the ones we're using are white, um, if a little bit of it shows through between um, the individual petals, I guess I'll call them, um, it's not going to make a big difference. Uh, you can kind of tell on this, you're not really going to be able to see the tiny little pieces of white. Now, if you had a green styrofoam ball, that of course will probably show through a lot, a lot more, but that's the beauty of using the, um, the white styrofoam for this project. Um, but you can get them as tightly, uh, cl close together as you like, or um, as spaced as you like, but um, I did mine fairly, fairly close together. So what you're gonna do is you'll take your glue gun, you will need a glue gun for this project, um, some hot glue. You could do it with um, regular like white glue, um, maybe even a glue stick, but I do recommend that you use hot glue with this project because of um, the speed with which it dries. Um, putting all the little petals on will take you a good amount of time, so this really uh, shortens your, your dry time and 
um, with regular glue, of course, they would move around before the glue set. So you, hot glue really is the best option. So to start, this is really the one skill that you have to learn for this craft. You're going to take your little paper round and you're going to take your pencil and then erase their end. You're going to put it in the center of the pencil and then you're going to kind of fold the edges up around that pencil eraser. Just fold those in. Kind of, some of them will fold over each other until they're flush with that pencil edge. And then it doesn't matter if it's a little bumpy. But then on the end, with the eraser, that's going to be your flat end. And that's where you're going to put your glue. So you'll take your glue gun, put a dot of glue. Doesn't take much. Pick your styrofoam ball, and then wherever you want to start with, you're going to place that onto the styrofoam. And you'll hold it there with the eraser still in the paper until it sets. That'll kind of hold your shape more. And then you let it go. And then you have your first little bloom or petal in your ball. And then that is exactly what you're going to do over and over and over again until you fill the whole styrofoam ball. Now, one option for you, if you don't want them to just be um, solid hydrangea balls, you could actually do these um, to hang them. So if you wanted to hang it, um, I would suggest that you take like a piece of ribbon or a piece of cord, loop it, and then glue that um, on one end of your ball before you begin because putting a ribbon in after you completed the whole ball really won't work. So if you are wanting to hang, um, hang your hydrangea ball, uh, you'll want to put your, your ribbon or your cord um, on, glue that on to start. But we're just going to keep on going. We're going to take our next petal. I'll show you this several times. Once you get the hang of it, it goes faster. This is one of those activities, though, that you could do while you're watching TV or just kind of hanging out a lazy afternoon. It will, will take a little bit of time. But it's the same motion. It's just a repetitive motion and skill over and over. So I folded that up, put some glue on there, holding it until it's attached. We're going to keep doing that. Put in the center, fold up the sides. There's really no pattern to follow. Just start wherever you'd like and start filling in with each bloom. And you'll see how that starts to look like a little, little hydrangea. Right, so as you can see, this really starts to take shape once you get, um, once you really get about halfway, um, you'll you'll really uh, see the the hydrangea sort of coming out of this project. Um, it'll take a little while, as I said, but be patient. Um, I feel like I'm the world's <laughs> slowest crafter, so it might take me a little bit longer than it does you. But um, here we are all the way to the very end. We just have a, the top to go. So we're going to finish that up with a few last.
careful when you get to the very end where you're trying to uh, push the, the petals back to fill in those small spaces. It's very easy to burn yourself. So be very careful. I think And voila, you have a completed book page hydrangea ball. You have any of the little stringies from the hot glue. All you need to do is just pull those right off. And there you have your completed project. Thank you for joining us tonight for another virtual craft. Uh, I hope you enjoyed making your book page hydrangea ball. Some good ideas for how to use these. Uh, you can make several and put them in a bowl on a table, um, a dining room table or a coffee table, an end table, just as a decorative piece. Um, also, you could uh, use like a decorative glass, um, a wine glass, a champagne glass, something like that, and turn it over. Um, with the glass part down and the stem up, and then uh, balance these uh, hydrangea balls on, on the base um, just to give a little bit of height. Also, um, as I mentioned before, if you uh, do a ribbon or a cord of some sort, you could hang them. I think they would be really pretty for holiday decorations. So uh, I'm anxious to see what some of you all come up with. Please do um, take a photo of your project when you're finished and uh, make sure that you post it on our social media pages for the library. We'd love to see your finished product and the creative ways that you find to use your book page hydrangea balls. Thank you again for joining us and we hope to see you again soon for another virtual program. Thanks so much. Have a great night.